Lab four, uh, science 1110. Lab four on celestial spheres. And astrology. So I'm just gonna talk about the celestial sphere. The rest of the handout, uh, rest of the links, and for answering the questions about astrology, past and present, are in the uh, video link and on the lab four handout. So this is uh, this is what the lab is based on. So what we have are in this handout. Um, so if we look at the handout. This is posted as of July 1st. And what we, we do is, I'll go through the questions here. So first of all, we have the celestial sphere, which is made up of 88 constellations. And I'm gonna go through the handout as far as where they are. So if we look at the constellations, the Celestial sphere actually rotates around like so. And what this represents is the horizon. And what, how this works is we then position the sun depending on the time of year. Now we're, right now we're at just past um, the summer solstice. So the sun is right in this position in the sky. So it's actually in the constellation of Gemini. And the way the, the, this works is we have the ecliptic, which is the path of the sun over the course of the year. That's also you can see in the video link. And what we have here are different constellations. And I'm gonna, since we're doing this lab online, so what I have are the different constellations and where are they located. So I'm going to go through this and help you the first part. So M31 is in the constellation Andromeda. Okay. Next one would be Sirius. And That constellation, if I go look for it, it's down in the south actually. And what we have here is we go look for it. Here. And remember where it is. All right, Sirius is down here. Here's the ecliptic. So it's way down, it looks, it, if you look in the southern sky, it's the brightest star uh, in the southern sky, relatively high by the horizon, and it's in the constellation, it appears to be Canis, oh, Canis Major. All right, the next one, uh, Capella, and I'll move this a little bit farther over. Uh, Capella is in the constellation of farther north. Here it is. It's in the constellation, this is the star, and this is the constellation, it's in the constellation Auriga. and Betelgeuse. Uh, they are right on the horizon and they are in the constellation of Orion. 
right? Orion the Hunter. So they're in Orion. Okay. Aldebaran. All right. Um, if you remember that, that was the star that was um, destroyed uh, in Star Wars. But not really, but whatever. Let's see. Aldebaran. And number. There it is. It's in the constellation of Taurus. And Polaris. is in the constellation, all right, at the North Pole. So that's in the constellation Ursa Minor. And then finally, Vega. If you saw uh, the movie Contact, that's what that's based. That's in the constellation of Lyra, all right? Now, for this lab, I normally do it on um, labor around the fall equinox, but for the summer class, I'll just help you with this. So we'll, we'll basically do the same thing. So for declination, the way this works is, we'll leave that there a minute. And what we have here is declination and right ascension. And the way this works is the declination is north and south, um, uh, north and south of the equator, the equator. So we either go from zero up to 90 or zero down to another 90. Declination on the other hand, as far as um, as far as the right ascension goes from zero to 24. And for September 20, so for September 21st, which is what we use this lab for, so the equinox, uh, declination is zero degrees and right ascension is also zero because on the equinox right on there and it's right on there now uh next part which you can get on your eyes what is the out to the sun if we're somewhere in bemidji on this date so what we have is the altitude would be the altitude of the sun where this is on a horizon. This is the zenith for September 21st. The altitude is about 45 degrees in Bemidji. Or anywhere in Minnesota, you know, most places in Minnesota. So that is the lab. Uh, the rest of the handouts, uh, rest of the parts here, deals with uh, the constellation the actual dates based on this article from the Star Tribune, which came out a few years ago, and then the astrological dates, which you can find online. And then what to, and then there's some lecture related to this as far as the constellation is concerned.